Hi there, this is Yenia. It's now never, and today's story is about how to be a mompreneur. Vamos? Mama! Now it's gonna be a very historical moment. I'm gonna meet my uh, one of my best university friends, whom I saw last time four years ago in Russia. And now she lives in Colombia and has two daughters. <laughs> This is Manana. She is Russian, almost 29, unexpected, right? And a mother of two. Very independent and career oriented. She was always the last one in our company of friends to likely start a family and have kids. But in reality, happened to be the first one. <laughs> Manana and her partner Juanke were working in Mexico and dated for less than a year when they surprisingly discovered they will become parents. I didn't know what to do. Are we ready? Of course, we are ready. Oh, how do I know who is the father? No, no. For Luna's birth, Manana and Juanke moved to Colombia, to Juanke's hometown, Barranquilla. Without money, work, it wasn't easy at all to start a new life in a new place. I remember I cried for the first time I said, Oh, you see, you are such a big responsibility. Our life, our freedom, is already in the cells. Losing self-identification is a common problem for new moms. However, having a routine of baby life instead of working life, my nana finally got time to stop, think and review her needs and values. То есть у тебя настолько это ценное время с детьми, и вот эти вот оставшиеся там часы я хочу тратить на то, что, что мне нравится. То есть я не хочу и как-то бесцельно пойти и работать там куда-то, да, вот. When Luna was one year old, Manana started to work on the idea of opening local office of Impact Hub, global network of co-working spaces for social entrepreneurs. She always believed in the importance of creating impact and making the world a better place to live. But Hub started as a result of a chain of accidents events. When in stage of market research they organized an event for 200 entrepreneurs, they had to explain somehow what are they doing and present the idea of the hub. Suddenly everybody started to talk about it and loved the idea, so there was no road back. Meanwhile, Manana gave birth to Mila, who is now three months old. <laughs> <laughs> I've been living with Manana for a couple of weeks and despite a very strict daily schedule and certain routine, surprisingly, there were always hours to do some work, whether with kids or without. And it's not always easy. Being a mompreneur is not an easy task, but looking at Manana with kids makes you want to have your own. Каждое новое умение, какое-то новое слово, рисунок. То есть ты такой, вау, а сейчас у меня тут двойне. И есть еще невозможное чувство любви. Какое такое приятное чувство, тебе кажется, что ты такой прям человек, способен любить. Это здорово. Оно обычно у меня только когда они засыпают. И вот, значит, я лежу, когда ребенок спит, и чувствую много-много любви. А потом он спит. 
<laughs> I've used to panic just for my idea of having kids. But after living with my Nana, I figured that even though kids need a lot of time, it's amazing to be a mom. I've also figured that babies don't cry as much. They're not that helpless. And they will love you more than anybody else. You want to have more kids? <laughs>